I'm here today to talk about REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement sleep. When we're not in REM sleep, we're in non-REM sleep. What's happening when we are in REM sleep? Our eyes are darting back and forth in our head and our brains are very active while our bodies are naturally paralyzed to keep us from acting out our dreams during that very active brain state. During non-REM sleep, we're in three different stages. Stage one is light sleep, stage two and stage three is deep sleep. REM sleep is that final stage four. And those four stages are what make up our sleep architecture and ultimately one sleep cycle. So you got it right. If you hear someone say REM cycle, that's actually a misnomer. REM is just one stage of a full sleep cycle comprised of four sleep stages total. We go through about four to six of those cycles a night if we're getting the recommended seven to nine hours of sleep that an adult needs. I like to think of REM as playing four different roles in my body. One is my maintenance team, two is my librarian, and three is my therapist. On my maintenance team, REM supports my body by cleaning out a lot of the toxins that build up during the daytime hours. As the librarian, REM sleep comes in and it cleans up my very cluttered desk. So imagine paperwork everywhere in front of you. What REM sleep does is it takes that paperwork and it puts it into a very organized filing system in your brain so that those memories are easier to retrieve later. How cool is that? And as my therapist, REM sleep helps me with emotion processing. So when someone says to you, sleep on it, see what you think tomorrow, what they're really saying is, hey, go through four to six REM stages tonight and you'll have a fresh perspective on the next day. So what do we do about REM? How do we get more? How do we enhance the REM that we are getting? I really like to narrow this down to one phrase, and that is sleep quality. And sleep quality and sleep architecture are ultimately tied together. If our sleep architecture is moving through the different stages efficiently, and we're staying asleep through the night, our sleep quality vastly improves. This is often not something that doctors talk to us about. So do your own research, pay attention to your body, and remember that everyone is different. So look for the support you need and support your REM sleep on a day-to-day -day basis.